Good morning! Hey, it is June the 17th, 2022, and we welcome you to Jake's Bounty! That's right, I'm in my room once again because, well, fuck it. <laughs> hey, it's Unfamiliar Friday, let's go ahead and do it. Thank you very much for tuning in to Jake's Bounty. I am your host, Jake Hernandez. It is Unfamiliar Friday, so we'll do a band that is unfamiliar to you, probably. Uh, yeah, I want to go ahead and uh, thank the music today, provided by once again, that was Instruments of Murder. I don't have it right. Oh, I do. I'm a big fat liar. Here it is, Instruments of Murder, sick bag right here. Uh, you can go ahead and get it right now. Just released today, remastered, uh, it was released back in 2015 originally, but now it's remastered, has uh, whatever remastered touches they did to it, and uh, you can go pick it up at uh, fornicateyourselfrecords.com, alright, sick bag, and that was a song, Change of Scenery, alright, um, well, trying to get something on here on the computer to load up. Hopefully, uh, it'll work out. It's not doing it right now. Alright, um, but I also wanted to let you know, we have our sponsors today, and where are they at? <laughs> They're not in front of me. Fuck. <laughs> But I do have a, a great memory, at least for now anyway. So I have dog training for dummies over here at Jake's Bounty. And retro uh, games and activities also here at Jake's Bounty. Just 5 9 a.m. when you type in the word retro. And also still at Ray's video is Crash Bandicoot Nitro Kart Racing for the PS2. Alright, good things. Alright. Well, I got that site up and loaded. I just wanted to let you guys know um, I've gotten a whole bunch of views for my last TikTok video, and I want to say thank you for that. And I got a, one more subscriber, and I want to say thank you for subscribing, and I wish that more of you would subscribe. And, you know, um, just keep on watching, and I'll keep on, uh, you know, uh, bringing it to you. All right, let's go ahead and get into the news. Um, Valley College football uh, coach was shot to death by father, Billy Wright Jr., coach at uh, COS Ridley College and works at a federal correctional officer. Um, his father shot him the other day. That's right, 52-year-old William Wright Sr. shot him after argument turned bad. And uh, he pulled out his handgun that was unregistered to him. And shot him. He's now in jail. Um, man on bike shoots and kills driver in Selma on a Rants and C Street. Man in custody. Man found with gun on Locust and Rose Avenue. Just imagine that in uh, Selma. You're just driving down, and then you see on the right hand side a guy with a gun on a bicycle. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, he was uh, on probation and a convicted felon. Of course he is. Man hospitalized after being hit by a train um, downtown Fresno. This happened on Mono and G Street. Don't know exactly what led to it. I'm thinking Mono and G Street, that's over there by uh, Chitancy Park. I'm not sure if exactly it's blocked off or what. But um, probably not too hard to get onto the train tracks and then you're kind of like confused and don't really say if uh, the man was a uh, mental state or whether or not he was homeless. So could have been a many of things. All right. Cannabis stores to open throughout Fresno. Yes, finally. All right. The city has voted a $75,000 loan to assist with company startup. Um, one in particular, Blackstone and Sierra. They say they hopefully will do three per district. Uh, still have to be inspected by Fresno PD. Uh, well, we shall see, right? <laughs> it's about time, though. And finally, some world news. Vince McMahon steps down as president and chairman of WWE. His uh, daughter, Stephanie McMahon, who just recently took some time off to be with family, 
um, steps back into uh, that position and now is running the day-to-day -day operations. What happened exactly? Well, supposedly, uh, Vince McMahon uh, uh, did the whole, like, uh, have sex with, like, a person and then paid for it. That's what the rumor is. And the rumor is they paid three million, you know, for some hush money or whatever. And so that rumor was going around. Supposedly, today he's going to come out and uh, talk about it on SmackDown and address it. So... We'll give you some more news on that on Monday, all right? Okay, well, I don't actually have any cans in front of me because I turned them in, that's right, and got $10.01. Woohoo! Actually, it was $9.86, but the guy was cool because he rounded it up to $10, and then I found the penny on the ground, so yeah. All right, so good things. I'll probably turn them in Um saturday and then let you guys know the total on monday all right so hopefully i'll be able to get uh, enough uh, money to help out roll around the house uh, even more because inflation is going up 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 all right well today is friday and it is an unfamiliar band friday so i wanted to go ahead and talk about a band by the name of brother kane don't know if you guys have actually heard of him but they're an American rock band that released three albums in the 90s, formed back in Alabama in 1990 by singer and guitarist Damon Johnson and bassist Glenn Maxey. The lineup was completed by guitarist Roman Glick and drummer Scott Collier. The band's self-titled debut album was released in 1993. And after some lineup changes, this was followed by their album Seeds in 1995 and their final album Wishpool in 1998. Brother Kane disbanded thereafter, but reformed in 2005. Then again in 2005, uh, excuse me, they reformed in 2005, in 2011, and are active again in 2022. All right. So the band's debut album, Brother Kane, peaked at number 14 on the Billboard Heat Seekers, and you can got songs called "Caught No Shame." And then later on, uh, they released their second album entitled "Seeds," which had a single entitled. And Full Shine On, which stayed at number one Billboard Rock Charts for six weeks. And then they also had a song on Curse of uh, Michael Myers soundtrack titled Hung on a Rope. And they also, in 1998, released their third album titled Wishpool. All right. They are also hopefully going to be doing a tour in 2023 to coincide with the 30th anniversary of the release of their Brother Kane album. All right. So there we go with that. Other projects uh, they have in the works are a band and called Slave to the System. All right. And also uh, Glick worked with Johnson and Slave to the System before joining James, du James, Jesse James Dupree and Jackal. I don't know why that was for Harmony to say. Um, but yeah, so you can go check out the band uh, Brother Kane at any music media outlet you can go and look them up on google and find some bios on them and you know check out their music like i said go and check out all three of their albums i think the first one is their best and i, I think uh no shame is uh really one of their best songs for me anyway all right so we got that taken care of want to go ahead and let you know uh, one more time about uh Crash Bandicoot and uh, the Nitro Cart, and it's at uh, Ray's Video, $1 seven day rental. And we still have the uh, Dog Training for Dummy book over at uh, Jake's Bounty. You can type in the word dummy, you get it for $5.99. And also, when you type in the word retro, you get our retro classic book uh, games, trivia questions, and all that for just $5.99 as well. Hey, I just want to take some time to say thank you for all the views and for the subscribing. And just want to say I'm going to keep it up with these uh, TikTok videos. I'm going to do a series of these, uh, you know, uh, summer vacation ones helping around the house. And uh, just, you know, thank you very much and uh, keep it up. And uh, I'll see you guys on Monday. You guys be good to yourselves and be good to each other. And uh, here's some more right now of Instruments of Murder. Like I said, their album Sick Bag. 
is out right now. It features unreleased tracks, uh, live tracks, rarities, and just a whole bunch of other good shit, all right? So go pick that up at uh, fornicateyourselfrecords.com. And here's that song, Change of Scenery. I'll see you guys on Monday. You guys have a good weekend. Peace. Jake's Bounties and Film Up Fornicate Yourself Records Production 2020 gig. And follow us on Facebook, his channel, his website, leave a like, leave a comment, as always. Please subscribe.